let's go ahead and use our media to uh, upgrade wizard to upgrade our SQL Server 2012 to SQL Server 2014. All right, installation. If you click on installation, you will get these options. What you need to click on is upgrade from SQL Server 2005, 8, 2008 R2, or SQL Server 2012. In my case, it's SQL Server 2012. So I'm gonna click on this option. it's running some rules we're not gonna go ahead and uh, click on use Microsoft update to check for updates it's even though it's recommended but I'm not gonna use it click next it's installing set of files at this moment All right, here are the options that if you have multiple instances, you need to go ahead and click on here and select your particular instance that you wanted to upgrade. In my case, it's going to be SQL 2012 right here. And I have selected right here the engine and some shared components right here. So I'm going to go ahead and click Next. Here are the feature list that you want to upgrade. I want to upgrade all of it, so I select it all. Click Next. And I want to keep the same name, so that is OK. Click Next. Usually in, in your organization, when you do in-place upgrade, the main focus is not to change the SQL Server instance name. The reason is that uh, your application is connecting using same SQL Server. So I upgraded, I, I named my instance 2012, just uh, this is not a good naming convention, uh, but I did it for just demo purposes, but I'm going to keep the same name. So I'm going to go ahead and click next. Up here is uh, SQL full text filter daemon launcher. It's going to go ahead and Click on import, that's okay. You can also click on show detail and it'll show you all the rules that it's running right now. So far everything is passed. Here is the summary, upgrade summary, what is going to upgrade. So we're going to go ahead and click upgrade. Upgrade is going to take a little bit of time and I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and once it's completed I'll be back if I run into any issue I'll share with you and also the resolution all right as you can see that our upgrade is completed now we're running SQL Server 2014 and let's check that if that's the case we're gonna go ahead and disconnect with our instance go ahead and connect again and we're gonna go ahead and run the query 
look at the version as you can see it says Microsoft SQL Server 2014 12.0 so our engine is upgraded so let's go ahead and take a look on our client which is SQL Server Management Studio if that's upgraded and click on help and click on about let me go ahead and refire it right now it still shows SQL Server two thousand twelve client even though we selected that I believe I, I selected that we can cancel this go to help about and now it says SQL Server 2014 so this is basically how you upgrade in place upgrade we went ahead and installed SQL Server up, upgrade advisor to see if there are any conflicts and we didn't have any conflict in my case if you do please take care of those first before you upgrade SQL Server upgrade to SQL Server 2014 you might not run into error but your um, application will uh, probably break um, if they try to connect to SQL Server and they are using uh, in their code the features that's deprecated in SQL Server 2012 and you went ahead and upgraded to SQL Server 2014 that will break the application and you need to resolve those um, uh, conflicts what Upgrade Advisor shows so um, we went ahead and also installed the prerequisites of SQL Server 2014 Upgrade Advisor and Upgrade Wizard we completed our upgrade so that's it for this demo. I hope this demo helped.